guys welcome back to my channel creative hands by shay so today i'm here with another video where i will be showing you how to make a cute uh, little rasta color bag so i have all my colors here i have the black the bright yellow the green and also the bright red uh to make this bag come to life so i will be putting on the screen all the materials that i will be using today uh to make this project come to life so guys i did make one off camera and i did make a short uh video of that bag i will show you that on screen and i'll also uh, put in the the link for that little short uh attach it to this video so you can see that if you have not yet seen it guys our little channel is here growing slowly but surely but you know i appreciate all of you guys that actually support my channel thank you so much so guys let's jump in the video So guys, to begin, I will be using my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and um, we will first make a magic ring. So wrap your yarn or wherever you want to make your magic ring and pull up a loop. Once you pull up that loop, you will chain uh, three or two, chain two. And um, we will make 14 double crochet into this ring. So go ahead and make your 14 double crochet and I will see you at the end of making mine. So now I have come to the end of making my 14 double crochets. I'm just going to pull the tail real tight to make sure that it closes up that hole there. And then I am going to slip stitch on top of our first double crochet. I know that this is black and it will be a little bit hard to see, but I hope that you are seeing that well. So I am slip stitching there. And then we're going to chain two, one and two. And into that same stitch, we're going to make two uh, double crochet and in each stitches around we're going to make two double crochet and you should have a total of 28 at the end of this second row here so that's one two so that's in my first stitch my chain two here just only act as a filler stitch So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row two. So now I have come to the end of making my stitching stitches and I have a total of 28 stitches. Now you're going to slip stitch on top of this first double crochet. Chain two. And for row three, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochet in the first stitch here. And then we will make um, one in the next. So one. And two. And then in the next, we're going to make one double crochet. Sorry. So that's one. And then in the next, we're going to make two double crochet. So continue doing that until you reach to the end and I'll see you there. So now I am at my last stitch here and I'm just going to make one and you should have a total of 42 uh, double crochet so this is what your work should look like now you're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet and chain one and two and for row four you will make two uh, double crochet in in this first stitch and then in the next 
two stitches you will make one double crochet one double crochet so let me just show you that yarn over insert your hook so that's one and two and then that's two in the same stitch and then in the next we'll put one in the next one and then in the next stitch we will put two double crochet in that same stitch so the sequence for row four is two double crochet in the same stitch and then two double crochet in separate stitches continue doing that and i'll see you at the end of this round so i am coming up to my last two stitches here and i have a total of 56 uh half double sorry double crochet i should say sorry about that and uh, make sure that you check uh, all your stitches to make sure that you have 56 um, double crochets slip stitch again on top of this first double crochet chain two and then for row five it will be um, two double crochet in the same stitch and then we will do three double crochet in separate stitches so I have my two there in the same stitch and now I'm going to do one two and three so that's three double crochet in separate stitches now I'm gonna do two in the next stitch so two double crochet in this stitch Follow the same sequence right around and you should have a total of 70 double crochet in row 5. So I'll see you there. So now I am at my last 3 stitches. And I have my total of 70 double crochets slip stitch on the first double crochet here chain two going on to row six we're gonna make two double crochet into that first stitch that's one and two and then into the next four stitches we will make one double crochets so that's one two three and four and then two in the next stitch so continue doing that same sequence around two into the first stitch and then three separate uh, separate double crochet in each stitch continue that and at the end you should have a total of 84 double crochets so now I have come to the end of row 6 and I have my 84 stitches so this is what your work should look like so moving on to row 7 slip stitching on the first double crochet here chain your 2 now for row seven you're going to do two double crochet we are always starting with two double crochets and ending with just singles so now that i have my two in the first stitch you're going to put five double crochet in each stitches after your five then you're going to add two in the same stitch so it's very very repetitive and easy to follow so i have one two three four and five and then i'm going to add my two in this stitch one and two in the same stitch 
So now uh, you should have a total of 98 stitches in row 7. So I'll see you at the end of this row. So now I have come to the end of row 7 and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet there. And this is what your work should look like. It may look a little bit crimpy, uh, but don't worry, it will flatten out. Um, so now we are going to chain two. And as we did before, make our two double crochet into that same stitch. So this is row eight. So row seven, we had um, 98 stitches now moving on to row eight we are going to be doing two double crochet in the same stitch and then six double crochet in separate stitches so you're going to continue that same sequence right around until you reach to the end and that's where i'll meet back up with you and you should have a total of 112 stitches so continue doing that and i'll see you then So now I have come to the end of making my last row here of the bottom of the bag and you should have a total of 112 as I stated before. I'm just going to do a measurement to let you see that. So from here to here is measuring 8 inches uh, wide. So that's the circumference of the bottom of the bag. So if you want yours to be bigger, you just have to add more rows doing the same sequence. So I am going to make my slip stitch here. And we're going to be doing it a little bit different for row 9. So for row 9, we will chain 2. And instead of working on top of each chain, we will be working back post double crochets. So yarn over and wrap your yarn around and into this first one here. So I hope you can see that well. Right at the extreme top there, you're going to insert your hook from the back, pull it back and pull through, pull up and make your first double crochets. So this is how we will be doing this for the entire row of row 9, making back post double crochet in each stitches. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row 9. So now I have my last stitch here to make my back post double crochet. And then I'm going to slip stitch to complete into the top of that first double crochet to complete uh, row 9 and we will continue working in each stitches around until we get to the top of the bag um, we will be doing uh, double crochet in each stitches around so I'm gonna do two more rows of black and then I will see you at the end where I will show you how to change the color for the green so now I have reach to the end and I have one stitch remaining so what we're gonna do now we're gonna change to our green and this is how we attach the green we're just gonna give this a tie And then we are going to slip stitch into our first stitch here to complete this row here. So this was row 9, 10, 11. So we're completing row 11 with the green. So you will see that it has is going to have a clean cut uh, once you go around you won't see any black uh, interfering with the green so now that we have our green there we're gonna chain one 
two and you can go ahead and cut this black yarn off so we're done with that for now and then just continue making double crochet in each stitches around and we're gonna do a total of three rows of green so continue doing that and I will see you at the end of making my three rows of green so now I am at my last two stitches here of green one and two and you can see how nicely the bag is coming on you can see the rim on the bottom here and how nicely the green and the black uh, just sit on top of each other so now what you're gonna do is we're gonna change color again doing the same sequence and we're gonna change to our yellow gonna make a tie and slip stitch on the top chain two and then start your next row and we're gonna do a total of let me just check here one two three four five so we're gonna do five rows of yellow so continue doing that until you reach to your five rows of yellow and then we will change to red all right so i'll see you then so now i have come to my last stitch here and i'm just going to make my double crochet and as before, we're not going to finish that. We are going to join with our next color, which is red. And I'm just going to give that a tie. cut this part off and then we're going to join with a slip stitch chain two and what you can do is you can just weave in these as we go along so pull them behind on to your left yarn over insert into the same stitch and make your first double crochet and from here on uh, it is going to be just the same as before as I say that this um, pattern is very repetitive so um, after we do three rows of red we will do uh, two rows of black then one row of red then one row of yellow, one row of green, and then five rows of black. And um, after you're finished with your five rows of black, or after I am finished, I will meet you back there at uh, that last row, and I'll show you what to do next. So I'll put the instruction on the screen so you can see that, even though I'm telling you. So continue making your... Um, double crochets right around and I'll see you at the end of our la of, of, of our um five rows of black so see you then so now I have come to the end of my five rows of black and I'm gonna make my last double crochet here slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet and then I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. 
and from that same stitch I'm, I am going to count one two three four and in the fifth one here we are going to make a shell so we're gonna make three double crochet in the same stitch it's two and three chain two one and two and in that same stitch we are going to make three more double crochet and that completes our first shell there so i hope you can see that good and then you are going to chain one two and you're going to count one, two, three, four. And in the fifth one, you are going to make your next shell. So this is going to be the sequence for this row. You're going to count four space in between. And in the fifth uh, stitch, you are going to make your shell. So continue doing that until you reach to the end. And I'll see you there. So now I have come to the end of making my last shell here and instead of chaining two I am going to chain one and where we did this chain three here I am just going to go in like this and pull up my loop and make a slip stitch and chain one and we're going to fasten off here. So this is what uh, your bag should look like. You should end looking like this part here. So in between these spaces, that's where we're going to run uh, the strings through. We're going to run them through there. And yeah, so our bag is now completed. And I just fold down this part like this so you can see the bottom of the bag so I'm just gonna put that aside for now and we're gonna start off by making the the, the straps so to begin making the straps first uh, I changed my hook size so now I am at 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and I am going to insert my hook and make a slip knot and then I am going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven so now that I have my seven I am going to start working in the second one here so you're going to insert your hook pull up a loop and you won't finish these loops here you will continue inserting your hook pulling up loops so that's three four five six and seven loops now that we have seven loops on the hook you're going to yarn over you're going to pull through this first loop you're going to yarn over again you're going to pull through the second loop yarn over again pull through the third loop, yarn over, pull through the fourth loop, yarn over, pull through the fifth loop, sixth loop, and now the seventh loop. So this is what your work should look like. Now that we have done that, we are going to chain one and what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into this loop and the one that you're seeing here on the top. So this one here, 
and you're going to yarn over and pull through. So now that we have two loops there, going into the next, we're going to insert into this loop and the one that you're seeing here on the top and pull through. Again, insert your hook into this one and this one here at the top. Pull up your loop again again insert your hook again this one and this one here at the top now you're gonna yarn over and pull through this first one here, yarn over, pull through the second one, yarn over, pull through the next one here, yarn over again, pull through this one, yarn over again, pull through this one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. So now you can see that there is a like a, a, a yarn going across here. You will notice that it also looks a bit slant, but uh, it will work itself out. Now you're going to chain one again, insert your hook into the first loop and the second one here. So we're just basically repeating this and we're going to do it until this uh, turns out to be um, 28 inches long or if you want your strap uh, straps to be uh, smaller uh, in length then you can make it a little bit um, smaller so now that I have my loops here going into the next It's gonna feel a little bit um, edgy to do, but we should get it. Yarn over, pull through the first one, yarn over, pull through the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So we're going to continue doing that and make sure that you chain your one each time before you start a new set. So insert your hook into this first one and pull up your loop. Continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of making the straps for the bag. Oops. I might have to pull that out and redo this part. So I am going to start uh, making the straps by using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I did use a red strop on the first bag. Now I will be using a green strop. So if you want to use red on yours, that's fine. Uh, so insert your hook, wrap it around, and make a slip knot. Now that I have my slip knot, I am going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that I have my seven, I am going to insert my hook into the sec starting from the second one here. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, 
and continue inserting your hook into each stitches you should have a total of seven loops on the hook so now that i have my seven one two three four five six and seven we're going to yarn over and on the first loop here we're going to pull through that first one we're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull through that second one okay sorry this is not doing right let me just do that over okay so yarn over pull through that first loop yarn over pull through the next one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through the last one here now you're gonna chain one and for each row you will always chain one so I hope that you can see this let me just get a needle so I can just point that out for you to see Where's my needle? okay let me just use this hook here so I'm just gonna show you you will see this is a loop and this is also a loop on the top this is a loop and this is another loop here on the top so we'll be working in this loop here and this loop here so let me just show you that so insert your hook into this loop and also the one on the top pull through and you will have two loops on the hook in the next one you will insert your hook and the top one as well and pull up into this first one then the top one so you will always go through the immediate loop first and then go through the top last one and two go through this one and then this one so you should have seven loops one two three four five six and seven yarn over pull through first one yarn over pull through second one yarn over pull through third one yarn over pull through fourth fifth six and seven so this is how your work should look you should see uh, a line going across underneath so you will also notice that once you keep going up you will notice that the strap looks a bit slant but you don't have to worry about that it will work itself out so you're just going to continue doing that just repeating the same thing over and over until you get to 28 inches long once you reach there that's where you're gonna stop so I will see you there so continue doing that going through your first loop and the top loop or immediate loop, uh, loop sorry and top loop So guys now I have come to the end of making my strop and this is what it looks like it will look a little bit twisted when you're done making it but 
that's fine. Um, once you put it onto the bag and you have the strop together, then it will be okay. So there it is. So I am just going to fasten off now. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to get my scissors and cut that off. And what I'm going to do, because the bag is black on this side, so I am going to make sure that you have the bag within the, the sides of where you want it to be. So you can look where you had um, make your slip stitches and you can seal the bag within that part there I can hardly see mine I actually can't find it because it's so neat that it's very hard to find which is technically good because you want your work to be neat I honestly can't find it but anywho I am going to install the straps so you can see two different textures. You see, this is another texture here. If you want yours to be on that side, you can, but this is actually the side that it should be on. So I am going to insert this about, about two inches down on the bag, and I'm going to use a needle and thread because I don't want the, I don't want this to show so that's the reason why I am actually using a black needle and thread to sew my um, strop down. So you can basically put it anywhere you want to because it will not show. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing that. And I'm going to sew this part on the, and also the other part and I'll see you then, okay? So guys, I have now completed uh, installing my strop onto the back and this is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the string to run through the back. So I'm just going to make a, a slip knot here and chain 150 and... Um, I'll see you back. So now I am done making my chains and I did a total of 180 instead of 150. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this part off here and pull that through. And we're going to count from here to the center part here so we should have five on both ends so one two three four five one two three four five so we're going to insert our um string from this hole here so this is just what we're going to do we're just going to be looping in and out just like that And on this side you're gonna take it through on top and you're gonna continue doing that and I'm gonna continue looping my bag and I'll see you when I'm done looping my bag so guys I went ahead and I put my beat on to my bag so this is just to decorate your bag uh, you can put beads on there if you'd like and I did put one of my strings uh, through here and the other one on this side here so I also made a tassel and I will show you how I actually made that uh, just to make your bag look more realistic and cute and professional so I'm just gonna pull this here
just making sure that I have a loop and I went ahead and I cut uh, six fronds so I have six fronds on this side and six on here so uh, you can use any square object to just wrap your yarn around it and then you can cut it as long as you want it to be so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my hook insert it like this make sure that you grab in the middle of your strings and just pull that through okay so I'm just going to leave that aside for now and then I'm just going to use my fingers and I am going to grab both ends of the strings and pull that through and I'm going to pull down take my time pulling down on that and I'm just going to pull on this string here so that it comes closer I hope you can see that well it's kind of hard to see when it is a black yarn that you're using but I'll just try my best to let you see so you can see that there you can you notice that this part is a little bit loosey so uh, don't worry about that I am just gonna use my needle and I am gonna go inside this part here and push my needle down into the center of the tassel there and pull down through and once I have done that it has closed everything together now what I'm gonna do is just to make sure that it's well closed I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut my edges off so they look nice and cute and I'll be back with you so guys this is the end look of our bag it is now completed this is the straps and you can see the tassels they, they look so cute on the back makes the bag looks more elegant and also the beads here so this is just when you're pulling your bag together and you can just pull that up on your bag you can even pull down one of the beads and you can have your bag like that and there it is so I hope that you love this tutorial and it was very beneficial to you and instruction was very straightforward. Thanks again for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.